All right, so I wanted to take this moment to just kind of talk to you guys, Adana, to subscribers, about the one thing I absolutely hate about my job. So if you're thinking about getting into trauma, you better listen up because this video is for you. Let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So again, I just wanted to take this moment to talk to you guys. This is not me answering a question that any of you has posed. I just really wanted to sit down and give you guys some insight on things that I think you should really be thinking about when you're kind of deciphering, I guess you can say, what specialty do you wanna go into? Because there are things that you should really keep in mind um, that may affect how you feel as you continue to progress in this career and in that particular specialty and your profession as a PA. So for me, I wanted to really address the one thing that I hate about trauma. Now, there are lots of things that I love about trauma and love about being a PA. I mean, you guys hear me talk about it all the time. I talk about the lateral mobility and being able to move from place to place and that's so great. And I love the fact that I work 24 hour shifts. I did not necessarily think that I would love it as much as I love it because um, I did it as a student and I was really tired and really exhausted. But at the end of the day, when I'm doing this now as my profession, like it is the best thing ever. Yes, you're kind of tired and you're recouping the following day, but you still have two other days that you get to really spend with your family and do whatever it is that you want to do. So it's such a blessing, honestly, especially when you're raising kids and you have a family um, that you actually want to spend time with. Uh, it's nice to actually be able to do so and have a schedule that allows you to do that. So there are lots of things that I love. And I love the fact that I get to learn so much. I get to do a lot. If you haven't seen my previous video, I think it was like a couple weeks ago, I talked about how I literally had my hand up someone's chest cavity like compressing their subclavian because um, there was like a stab wound to that area. There was an injury there and you know, we had to make sure that this person didn't bleed out. And so I was designated that person and it was amazing to see um, just really like the, the craziness, the amazement of um, how intelligent my attendings are, like the, the, the smarts that God blessed them with, um, and just like the human body in and of itself. It, like trauma makes me appreciate God so much more. And so for that, again, I am extremely happy. However, there is one thing that I absolutely hate about my job. And that is seeing people pass away on a consistent basis from preventable injuries. Now, like this is me kind of like on my soapbox, I guess you can say, but honestly, like I see way too many young people specifically dying from injuries that could have been prevented. Um, and a lot of those injuries come from, you know, maybe like you being in the wrong place at the wrong time, I guess you could say, or just kind of being a victim of your circumstances or where you're living, be it, you know, stabbings or shootings. However, um, a large majority of them come from motor vehicle accidents and motor vehicle accidents from people who were not wearing their seatbelts. So you guys, please, 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 please wear your seatbelts. Uh, it helps tremendously. Like even if you are like mangled, I guess you can say, or if you have like broken bones and you have to have surgery, at least you're alive, right? Um, and I just want us all to think about that because as a provider, seeing somebody pass away because they just didn't have their seatbelt and they were ejected from a vehicle, is disheartening um, because it makes what has to happen in the long run harder when you're taking care of them and trying to save their lives. So please wear your seatbelt. Wear your seatbelt, please, okay? I don't play with the seatbelt. Like, I think there, there may have been times like in the past when I didn't necessarily wear a seatbelt. And I can't say that I'm guilty of that, like way before I had this job. But let me tell you, like every time I get in the car, my kids get in the car, my husband gets in the car, my mom gets in the car, a stranger gets in the car, anybody, if they get into my car, they are wearing a seatbelt. Anytime I get into somebody else's car, I wear a seatbelt and I ask them, yo, put your seatbelt on. Just because I know of what, like what could happen 
because it's an accident, right? Nothing is planned. And so at the end of the day, I just wanted to share that with you guys. That is absolutely the one thing I hate about my job, um, really seeing people pass away, but more specifically, seeing people pass away from injuries that they did not need to have if they were simply wearing a seatbelt. Okay, so that is the down to the PA PSA for today. I wanted to talk to you guys about that, but I really did want you guys to kind of think about some of these things because when you're thinking about a profession, you want to actually understand like, hey, what are the things that can keep me in here or push me away? And for me, I think um, ultimately seeing death on a consistent basis is not necessarily the best thing in the long run for somebody's psyche and how they interact with people. And for me, specifically Adana, um, I I definitely want to transition at some point in the future to something where I'm seeing more life, where I'm seeing people that are like, you know, for the most part, healthy-ish, uh, you know, not dealing with extreme traumatic situations. So that's something that I may want to transition to in the future. And I've talked to you guys about that on a consistent basis, but that is something that you all should absolutely think about when deciding what specialty you want to go into and what career you want to decide on. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe, you know, like this video, follow me on Instagram, at Adana the PA and on Instagram at Get That C University where we help you not only get into but through PA school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.